Hello darlings, it's Showbiz and welcome to my new online show, The Showbiz Show, where each week we feature celebrity gossip. And show this is kind of people where every week we travel around the country to find the weird, the wacky and the talented. Exclusive celebrity interviews. Make sure you tune in. Cheers! First up, celebrity gossip. Scarlett Moffat's family dropped from Gogglebox. We reveal Cheryl Cole's bump and Take That Howard has his fourth child. 2017 Brit Awards. Wait, it's showbiz gossip time and first of all we must talk about our lovely Scarlett Moffat's mother and father Betty and Mark. Yes, they've been given the boot from Gogglebox. Oh yes darlings. Gogglebox feel that Betty and Mark are no longer needed because their daughter Scarlett is way too famous now and uh, she's going for bigger and better things and the Gogglebox producers feel the show just could not work without the three of them. So it's goodbye to Scarlett's mum Betty and Mark. You never know, there could be a job in the Big Brother house next year for them. Keep watching. Well, it's all about babies at the moment, darling. I mean, I can't keep up with it. Now, today we reveal Cheryl Cole and that beautiful baby bump revealing in a lovely slinky black dress, lovely black flowing, or brown flowing, or red, whatever colour she is in at the moment, darling, hair. <laughs> we wish them well, Liam and Cheryl, from the Showbiz Show. But it doesn't stop there, darling. You Can you remember, we all remember, Howard Donald from Take That. Well, yes, his wife has given birth to baby number four. And get ready for its name, darling. You've heard of Huggy Bear. Well, this one's called Duggy Bear. Yes, we love the name, Howard. Keep up the good work. Well, darlings, we could not end our showbiz gossip with the Brit Awards. Yes, last night they arrived at the wonderful O2 in their millions to see the cream of the cream of the Brits 2017. Well, I'm absolutely delighted that um, my favourite group of all time, Little Mix, won the award, their first award for Great British single. But what I loved about the evening was the wonderful emotional tribute they made to the wonderful late George Michael. They made some wonderful, wonderful speeches about George Michael. And in Andrew Ridgely's words, he said that on Christmas Day 2016, the greatest singer-songwriter of his generation, an icon of an era, George Michael, we lost. And that ends our Brit section. And talking about Brits and talent and music talent, coming up next, we have a fantastic up and coming musical star, the wonderful sounds of Mr. Cody West. Don't go anywhere. Show business kind of people where every week we travel around the country to find the weird, the wacky and the talented. Cody West, it's wonderful to meet you. You're a singer, entertain. I must say, your eyebrows. Where do you get them done? I'll get uh, a little little Chinese lady to do them for me. Oh, lovely little Chinese lady. So you're a singer, entertainer. How is best to describe you? Man of all trades, we could say. I like a man of all trades. <laughs> Tell me, where did it all start? Let's go right back to the beginning, where it all started. So you were born in South West London. It all started from the age of. 12, 13, when I started writing my own music, I uh, started video, videographing my own music videos and um, writing my own theatre productions. And that sort of, you know, I, I moved out of home at quite a young age um, and that sort of drove me to want to do something in my life and stay out of trouble and, you know, do something positive. Where did modelling come into it? You're a child model, I see. I was, I was the face of the early learning centre in Bentles. Were you Bentles, really? They called me. Oh, I love that. <laughs> My birth name's Carl, so they call me, they branded me Catwalk Carl. They'd sit there and they'd all pull my chubby cheeks. I'd sit there with my sunglasses on, my bucket and spade, you know, doing the little poses. Catwalk Carl, that's what they branded me. So you were Catwalk Carl and you were the baby, the baby face at Bentles. So that was your first claim to fame. And after that, um, I believe Jamie Oliver. Jamie was brilliant. He was absolutely brilliant. Do you know what? He's taught me a lot to do with cooking, a lot of knife skills and, you know, 
you know, it's pretty much has changed my life, that show. So after Jamie's Dream School, you then, um, I believe, had a, an acquaintance with David Cameron. So I met David Cameron at 10 Downing Street. Um, this was during Jamie and Oliver's Dream School. We had the opportunity to sit there and have a, an actual meeting with the Prime Minister, the current Prime Minister at the time, which was very exciting. He actually signed a five pound note. Uh, I've still got, which I'm sure I'll be worth a couple of uh, a bob in a few years, but no, surely. Now, let's get on to brighter things. Tell me about the new single. I do, that was released in uh, January, January the 90th. What's it called? It's called All My Life, right. Cody, All My Life. And it's a tropical house track, you know, with a, with a, with a mellow, mellow sort. A tropical house. Tropical house track. I mean, I'm an old fogey. I have no idea what tropical house track. It sounds like some sort of nice cocktail. If you've ever been to, say, an ocean beach club and you're listening to very mellow tropical cocktail music, yeah, it's that sort of mellow, not an overpowering house. It's a very mellow, easy listening, nice. relaxing sort of vibe to it, you know. So I've got my pina colada in one hand Definitely. and I've got you playing in the other ear. Definitely. Well, I mean, you can uh, visit my official website, which is www.codywest.com, which is spelled C-O-D-I-E, West is in the direction. Yeah. Short and sweet. Yeah. Uh, that's got all the information about my current appearances, upcoming appearances, things that I've done in the past and links to all my music. And on that note, it's been lovely meeting you. We wish you all the best for the future and uh, good luck. Can we have another bruv? Go on then. Bruv. <laughs> well, this week is London Fashion Week and I caught up with the latest collection from Kim Melville Smith in the um, collection on show in Kensington. Come on, let's go and find out what she's got in store. Um, it's London Fashion Week and here I am standing in fashionable Kensington to find out what's hot and what's not on the catwalk. Bruv! <laughs> Absolutely over the moon to be joined with the actual designer of tonight's show, the lovely Kim. How are you feeling about the show, ahead of the show tonight? Fabulous. Fabulous. I'm loving it. I've had the most amazing team behind me, the most amazing everybody. How long have you been designing for? I mean, how many years? Ever since you've been knee high to a grasshopper. And look, here you are in swanky Kensington. Amazing. Well, that was the end of my first visit of London Fashion Week. And I have to say, I've had a really, really good night tonight. Loads of energy, loads of like attitude on the catwalk. I mean, it makes me feel old. I mean, these people, I mean, let's face it, they're all 20 or something. I mean, absolutely stick fit, looking absolutely fantastic. But a really good range, and I'm really, really pleased with Kim, Bel Kim Melville Smith um, and her new collection. And I have to say, I'll be looking out for her because I think she's the designer of the future. Next time, join me with an exclusive interview with Celebrity Big Brother's Stephanie Davis. Don't miss it. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Haven't you seen him on the television? Showbiz.